I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Pavilion laptop. The model name for this laptop is an 14-N229 and the model number is an F4G97. Those information can be found right at the bottom of the laptop when you flip it over on the bottom side it will tell you the, the model 14-N229 and on the side it will tell you product which means product number which is a F4G97 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to remove or replace your keyboard for this laptop. This applies for any 14-N uh, series laptop so it doesn't have to be that specific model. It's really simple and easy. I'll try to get the link for the new keyboard for this ones. I'll leave the link in my video description and i'm gonna leave the links for all the tools that i use for this process the tools that you're going to be needing is an ifixit screwdriver set or at least i use the ifixit screwdriver set they are one of the best bits out there these are s2 class steel that means they're really tough and steel you want to grab a phillips number one you will need an opening tool if you purchase the pro version they will give you an opening tool and many other tools if you don't want to invest on a pro version, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick are really suitable to opening electronics, covers, and they're really su suitable for covers pretty much. Anyway, so what you want to do first, power off the laptop in completely. And first we want to remove the battery by removing this trigger and this trigger to one side and slide out the battery. Next, on the bottom cover, the only two screws that we're going to remove is this one and this one over here. They do actually give you a uh, keyboard uh, logo right beside them. So go ahead and remove these two screws. The screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching those. Next, you want to flip over the laptop and open up the screen. Now down here, you're gonna use your guitar pick or your opening tool and you wanna stick it starting from one corner between the delete button on the top and you just wanna wiggle it around and lift it up. Make sure you hit it all the way in. Don't worry, just go ahead it all the way down and just open and then switch. It's like you peeling it off all the way down. Make sure you don't go halfway through. It should go down like about three to four millimeters towards there. Once you did that, you hear all those clicks all you want to do is grab it from the middle right here and pull it up so it gives us kind of curvature on both sides so it can release the locks on the side. Bring it up and hold it down face down and down here you want to see this flex cable that is came right through this jack. You don't want to pull it out, you want to damage the jack. You want to put your fingernail on top on, the, on this side where the black cover is and you want to lift it up. It's kind of hard sometimes, you just want to there you go. You want to lift it up 90 degrees, so it should come up 90 degrees, and then you can slide out the keyboard. And there's your keyboard. The spare HP part number for this one is a 74, let me see, 74 0102-161. That's the part model number. And the keyboard should come out with this is an adhesive, it should be just like this, this format. And then you just have to bend it over like that and bring it on this side and that's it. Let's say that you have the new keyboard. This one is the old one. You want to sit down the new keyboard right on the side, face down. Grab the flex cable, bring it over. The blue label has to be on facing on the bottom. The pins are facing up. You want to slide it all the way. Make sure the lock is open, facing 90 degrees up. And it slide the flex cable all the way in. It should go about two or three millimeters. Hold it in pushing inward and then just lock it down. Press the lock on it. Once you did that, the rest is easy. Just pick up the keyboard, bring down the bottom side with the tiny hinges here. Slide them right on the palm rest. Put your hand in the middle right at the back so you can do a curvature on it on the side. So press down. Once you do that, hold it with your fingers right there and put the other finger right underneath. 
push that side down. Now both sides are down, the rest you just want to snap it in place by pressing it down. All right. And the last thing would be to just flip it upside down and put the two screws that you removed and that should be all. Again, this is how you remove and replace your keyboard for your HP 14-N229. If you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll always try to answer them as soon as I can. If you wish to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe to the channel. I'll greatly appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.